everyone, and a glorious Saturday afternoon in Fargo. It's the Bison pregame show as top-ranked and undefeated North Dakota State gets set to host Indiana State. Along with Jeff Kolpak, I'm Dom Izzo. We're back in the tailgating lots. We got cheered last week. E got booed. We're being hosted by maybe the best recruiting class in NDSU history, the 2010 parents of the Bison. This is pretty good stuff over here today. You know, can we hurry this up? I have to get back to Trudy Smith's I know, ribs. I the mean, ribs those are waiting just fantastic. For you, here. you know, look who I found in the parking lot, I know. John Pike. <laughs> John, it's good to see you. A little different on the other side of it, huh? Just a lot different over there in Germany. I had a lot of fun. It was it was good playing football over there. And you're going back, or what's the plan? Oh, well, I got to think about it. I just got back. It was a long season, but uh, I had a lot of fun, so it's not out of the question. Well, enjoy yourself. I know you're not as intense right now as you were about this time last year. So. Yeah, very true, very true. But I'm having fun tailgating. Awesome people, awesome ribs, awesome food, having fun. All right, good to see you. Thanks. Good to see you, too. No problem. Now, now, he's not the only superstar here today. We saw Warren Holloway's here as well. Now, we got to get the hosts here of the pregame show as well. This is Randy Smith and Doyle Hardy, parents, obviously, of, of Ryan Smith and Mike Hardy. Guys, first tell me, when did this all come about? Uh, tell me how this all got really got started. Well, I would say it happened uh, during the kids' freshman year when they were recruited in the first games. We were over on the grass parking lot for a couple of years, and um, all the parents just started to get together and kind of became a tradition, and it's still going, and that's who's here. It's <laughs> sophomore recruiting class or junior for some of them because of red shirts, but close group, a lot of fun. The kids are close, and it's a good, a good, good group. Doyle, tell me about what days like today are like for you guys. I think we would all say we just look forward to the weekends, uh, especially the home weekends, because it gives us a chance to come together, talk about what the kids share with us, which sometimes isn't very much, but still we can get bits and pieces of uh, how their week has gone, how their season is going, um, and that's fun to, to have those conversations between the parents. Thanks for doing this today. Enjoy the game, okay? Appreciate you being Thank here. You, Thank you. Thanks Doyle, for coming. Doyle Hardy and Randy Smith. We'll bring uh, Big E. Let's talk the football star. here. The he, is, he is the star. Show. Let's talk some football here. Indiana State comes in with a record of 4-2. and two. They got a big win last week over Missouri State. Obviously, Jeff, they're led by Shakir Bell, maybe the best player in all of FCS football. Yeah, you can talk about Shakir Bell, and he is one of the best players in FCS football. What really made Indiana State's team in the last year or two is a much better defense. Remember when Trent Miles took over, you and I could have ran through that team. <laughs> now they got a pair of linebackers who are in the top 10 of tackles in FCS. They got a really good defensive end who's getting uh, looked at by the pros. I mean, that's uh, what I think really makes this team right now. E, we saw the most dominant performance maybe in the last couple of years with the Bison did last week. It's only expected that maybe a letdown occurs today. Do you see that happening here this afternoon? I think it's going to be tough for this team to have letdowns. They have so many playmakers. We saw it last week. They made plays in special teams. Adam Keller kicked the 49-yard uh, field goal, punt returns, you know, turnovers for touchdowns. I mean. I think what makes this team good is they're just so well-rounded in all three phases. The biggest question mark may be Adam Keller. We don't know what his status is. Craig Bull told us on Monday that he pulled his hamstring. Obviously, that's a huge deal for a kicker. Well, he was kicking practice on Thursday, so I would expect yeah. that he would be at full strength today. South Dakota State held Shakir Bell to 54 yards. The Bison held under 80 last year. What's the recipe? to stopping this guy here today. You need more than one guy. You need the first guy at a point of attack, but then you need somebody to follow it up because he'll often break that first tackle or at least squirm out of a little bit. So you need two guys doing it every time. You mentioned how good Brock Jensen has played. What are you expecting out of him today? And also it looks like Sam Jury and John Crockett, that one, two punches back for NDSU. I think you just expect the same efficient effort you get from Brock Jensen. I mean, we've talked about it on this blog, 19 and one in his last 20 starts. 24 touchdowns versus four interceptions in that span. I mean, that, that's about as good as it, as it gets at quarterback. All 10 Missouri Valley teams are playing today. Let's go through the games. USD at Missouri State. What do you pick there? Uh, Missouri State at home, I think they'll finally break through. You got the Bears win. I'll take the Coyotes there. It's a battle of must wins. Maybe jobs on the line. Northern Iowa at Southern Illinois today in Carbondale. Northern Iowa, they had, they had the bye week, and I think this is it for them. And they either got to prove they're uh, worthy of uh, top half of the league. They don't have a Division One win yet. I'll take Northern Iowa as well. The big game I think we'll be watching as well in Northern Illinois today is Youngstown State at Illinois State. Each team coming off a loss. What do you see in that game? Youngstown State, I like the better quarterback. Uh, Illinois State getting shut out at home last um, week is disturbing. Youngstown, I think, will be upset about how the, last week's game uh, went here in Fargo. I think they win today. Saturday selection time here for NDSU and Indiana State. Now, last week, you pulled out a penguin got and, got, and got booed by everybody. What do you say today? I am not getting booed this week because we are in the parents' tailgate. I also could not fit a tree in my car, so I could not bring a tree in. 
The Bison just have too many playmakers. And, you know, Indiana State has Shakir Bell, but the Bison have Crockett, Sam Mojuri, Gebhardt, Ryan Smith, Jensen. It goes on down the line. I am going to do oh, a ceremonial the passing of the victory mints. <laughs> I may not be able to make it yes. for the post game because I got a powerlifting date with Nikola Pekovic. So, Kopak, victory mints are yours. Thanks. Power, Appreciate a powerlifting date. Now, if we were comparing basketball alums, Indiana State would probably beat NDSU with Larry Bird versus Ben Woodside, but thankfully they're not playing today. What do you see? Well, you know, my first college football assignment was in 1988, and I had to ride the bus with Jamestown College, Montana. The head coach there is Raleigh Greeno. Oh, and I came across a book today, oh. was given on Trudy Smith's father. So, Trudy Smith's ribs, her father, I got to go with the Bison. I like that linear equation there you got picking there. The Bison should avoid a letdown today. Look for the offense to roll. I've got NDSU winning 31 to 17. The live blog starts in about an hour. Then, of course, complete highlights and reaction on WDAY. And then we're back post game after this match between Indiana State and NDSU.